Hello everyone. I hope all are doing good. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss the command line arguments and how you can access the command line argument inside your script. So in this session, I am going to write some of the scripts in which we access the command line arguments. So let's begin. Now let's say you want to write <clears throat> a particular script, you can use any of the editor as I have discussed in the previous session. And the script, let's say I am giving any script name. So let's say script 4 dot sh I am preparing. Now in this is the very first line, you know that we need to write she bang line. So has bang sign slash bin slash bash. Okay. <clears throat> so that we have now after that I am writing let's say echo dollar one so the I am writing the first command line argument first command line argument can be accessed with dollar one okay the name of cell script is stored in dollar zero so A script name if you want to print then you can print dollar zero and if you want to print command line argument two you can print by dollar two and so on so command line argument three and so on you can print if we want to display let's say all the command line arguments or the count of command line argument then you can print echo total command line arguments passed to the script so how many are passed if you want to print you can use dollar hash okay and if you want to display all the command line argument in a single go, so you can print echo the command line arguments. And you can print all the command line argument by putting dollar at the red sign. So I repeat, if you want to display the shell script name within the script, you can use dollar zero variable. And after your script, if you are typing anything, let's say after your script, you are giving 10, 20, ABC or something. So the very first command line argument, if you want to access, you give $1. And then for the second argument, $2. For third argument, $3 and so on. For the total number of arguments, if you want to print the count, you can use $hash. And if you want to display all the arguments inside your cell script, you can use dollar at the rate sign. So let's quickly check it. I'm saving this by typing escape colon wq. And in the previous session, I have told you that you can set the executable permission on this the script. If you don't want to set the executable permission, if you are not familiar with ch mode command, then you can just call this script inside a bash. So bash is also bash is also a command which can prompt a bash shell, right? So this is one other another way in which you can run a shell script without setting the executable permission on that. So let's say I'm setting this inside bash. I'm calling this script four, but in this script four, I'm I'm giving let's say three command line arguments. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, or maybe I am giving here apple. So third argument I'm setting as apple, and when I'm printing. So this is saying script name is script4.sh and this is getting printed by $0. Then the very first command line argument is 10. The second command line argument is 20. Third I haven't printed. If I want to print third command line argument, I'll print echo $3, right? 
and then it is saying total number of comma line arguments are three because I have passed three argument 10, 20 and apple. And if I want to display all the past command line argument in a single go, I can use dollar at the rate sign. So dollar at the rate is displaying all these 10, 20 apple as a string. Right. So now you can assume that when I type ls hyphen l in the similar manner or by using the same logic, ls is accessing the option or command line argument. I hope you are getting it. So if you are giving ls and there is a dir, so dir will be considered as a command line argument from or inside the ls command. And according to the past dir or the path, the ls will start acting, right? So I hope this session will help you to understand the command line argument and how you can access the command line arguments, right? So I'm closing this session. See you in the next session.